over the carport, and he asked me if I had a basketball. I didn't. <laughs> well, when I was 15 years old, I jammed my finger on a basketball, and I couldn't play guitar very long well for a couple of weeks. So I wasn't really big on basketballs. But the next day, I went out and I bought a basketball, and I called up Bob's house, and he was out, but I got Sarah, his wife at the time. And I said, well, tell Bob I got a basketball. And she said, oh, he'll be thrilled. <laughs> I said, really? <laughs> so the next day, Bob came over, and uh, we're shooting baskets in the backyard, and he's pretty good. And he said, I want to do something different. Now, Bob don't sing. He wants to do something different. So like strap rockets to a back and fly in the <laughs> I said, what do you mean? He said, I don't know, something like a circus. I said, okay. And that was all he said about it. A few weeks later, I was on the road with a band up and down the East Coast. And I had some time off, so I decided to spend it in Greenwich Village because I used to live there. And I bumped into Larry Sloman, who at the time was a reporter for Rolling Stone magazine. And he said, I think Bob Dylan is over at the bitter end. I said, well, let's go see. So we went over there, and there was nobody at the bar. But there's a little dark room in the back. We walked in there, and there were two guys sitting at a table having a couple of brandies. And I walked in, it was Sean Levy and Bob Dylan. And when, when I walked in, they stood up on the table, went flying, and the brandies went flying like an old western movie. They said, Roger, we were just talking about you. We're putting this tour together, and we'd like you to go. I said, well, I got some dates booked with my band. But the next day, I, I called my agent and postponed those dates, and it went on the Rolling Thunder Review. Yeah. And it really was like a circus. People were painted with clown makeup and costumes and everything. Randall and Jack Elliott, yeah, Allen Ginsberg was out there, um, and uh, Peter Lovelowski, and Joan Baez, and T Bone Burnett. It was really cool. And I liked it so much I wrote a song about it. You should have been there when the time was right for the music to begin. You should have been there when that band of gypsies started to go blue. You should have seen it, you'd have swore for sure when the circus came to town. There was ladies riding bareback, back, and the mystery man all painted like a clown. Should have seen October, feeling like I never felt before. Flashing up New England skies like the fires of the Revolutionary War. Coming down like the hardest rain that ever fell. Waking up in the afternoon with a hundred lovers sleeping in the same hotel. Take me away. The 
It's not the rest of the song's got great lyrics, but there's so many words to try, unless you know what she's singing about. Back in Las Vegas, I used to follow Bobby Darren around and ask him questions about the music business. And uh, I mentioned to him that I'd like to get in the movies. He said, well, I'm having a hard 